In this tutorial, I will be explaining how to make up some of the elements of the bear stacking toy, including the rings and also the bear's head. So here we have a piece of knitting for the first ring of the stacking toy and when making up the rings I would suggest sewing the side seams first. So I have threaded a needle with the cast on tail and I'm going to sew the side seam with the shortcut mattress stitch because you do get quite a nice almost invisible seam with this way of sewing the seams together. So you simply go into the loop under a knot and out through the next loop like so and then back over to the other side into the loop under the knot and back through the next loop like so. Once again into the loop, under the knot, like so, and back over to the other loop, under the knot, and out through the other side. And I do have a more detailed tutorial on this way of steaming. So, and then you simply just pull the yarn to tighten. I have sewed the side seam and as you can see with the shortcut mattress stitch you do get quite a nice neat almost invisible seam. We now need to sew the cast on edge and the cast off edges together. For the bottom ring there were 62 cast on stitches and there were 62 cast off stitches so the number of stitches should obviously match. So I have once again threaded a needle and this time I'm using the cast off tail yarn and to get a nice neat finish this is how I like to sew the two edges together. So first of all I Go into this stitch here, picking up two legs of the stitch like so. And I thread my needle through the two legs of the first stitch. Then I go to the other side, which would be the cast off side. And I would just pick up two legs of a stitch on this side like so. Once again, thread my needle through these two legs of the stitches of the stitch and pull the yarn. Then I go back to the other side and as you can see, I then move along to the next stitch and pick up two legs of that stitch, like so. Once again, Pull in the yarn and back over to the other side and this would be the next two legs that I would need to pick up and every couple of stitches just take the time to pull the yarn like so and then once again back over to the other side next two legs of the stitch and as you can see we're at this point here so it would be this stitch that I would need to thread my needle through like so. Once again Pull in the yarn quite tightly. Back over to the other side 
And once again I'll bring it quite close and it would be this stitch here. I have now sewn the first 10 or so stitches and I would recommend stuffing the ring as you sew. So just taking little bits of stuffing at a time, you simply need to push the stuffing in like so. And I would recommend stuffing the rings very, very firmly to get a really good shape. And then you just need to continue sewing all the way around the inside of the ring and once again stuff in as you sew. So here we have a completed ring and by stuffing the ring very firmly you should end up with quite a solid shape. Also by sewing the inside seam, stitch by stitch, the two colours should hopefully line up and you should achieve quite a nice, neat finish. To make up the head, you firstly need to sew the seam from the nose to the first markers at this point here. You then need to pick up 15 stitches evenly between the two markers on the right hand side and then 15 stitches between the two markers on the left hand side making a total of 30 stitches. So between the two markers there are approximately 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 stitches and you need to pick up 15 stitches on this side here spaced evenly. So here we have the marker and now we're going to pick up the first stitch. So picking up the loop at this point here, like so, you need to take the yarn and bring the yarn through the stitch to make a stitch on the right hand needle, like so. Then you need to go into the next stitch this time into a knot and once again take the yarn through like so and now we're going to go into the next loop and into the next stitch into the next knot. Can be quite tricky because <laughs> some of the stitches are quite tight, like so. And into the next loop. As we have 17 stitches to work with and I only need to pick up 15, I'm going to miss the next knot like so and go into the next stitch. I have picked up 15 stitches between the two markers and at this point you can simply remove the markers. We now need to cross over to the other side and pick up 15 stitches between the two markers on this side. So once again you simply go into a stitch like so, take the yarn 
bring it through the stitch to make a stitch on the right hand needle and I would suggest pulling the yarn very tightly at this point to join the two sides together and then working along the edge like so you need to continue to pick up another 14 stitches. I have picked up 15 stitches between the two markers so we can now remove these markers like so making a total of 30 stitches and now we need to stock and stitch 15 rows beginning with a purl row. I have completed the knitting and added the toy safety eyes and now we need to join this seam. I have threaded a needle with the cast off tail end and once again using, using the shortcut mattress stitch we just need to sew the seam. I have sewn the seam and I've added stuff in to the front section of the head and now at this point we need to push this part inside the head like so to create an opening and then we need to continue stuffing the head quite firmly <laughs> um, with this hole in place. And I do find that a wine bottle <laughs> works quite well to hold the head in place, like so. So you simply need to stuff around the opening. I have stuffed the head very firmly, <laughs> moulding and shaping as I, as I work, um, also ensuring that I distributed the stuffing evenly around the centre column opening, like so. So all we need to do now is join the back seam, perhaps add in a little bit more stuffing towards the end. I have now sewn the back seam and as you can see inside the head we now have an opening for the base of the stacking toy. <laughs> 